Hello and welcome to our new reading session, The View from Saturday, Part 5. The school's vision is learn today, lead tomorrow. And the school's mission is creating well-prepared individuals cognitively and behaviorally while focusing on developing psychomotor skills. Now, by the end, actually, the objectives of this uh, session uh, the, is the, uh, are that we're going to solve the questions from the reading worksheets. The story title is The View from Saturday. And the author is E.L. Konigsberg, and the illustrator is Janan Kane. Uh, the genre is humorous fiction. The theme we have a general one, which is the resources, and the specific theme is um, a little creativity, you can say a wedding. Uh, actually, Noah has been very creative and resourceful, solving all the problems he had encountered. Okay, so the author's purpose is to entertain. It was a very funny story. And the setting, when and where, or where, Noah's house and the century village. And when and the, in the past, the main characters, Noah. And the minor characters, Noah's mother, uh, of course we can see her at the beginning of the story, and his grandparents, and some neighbors or inhabitants of Century Village. And uh, we can look at the narrator, the narrator of the kind is first person narrator because uh, Noah was talking and telling his own story on his own words using I, and his name of course is Noah. Uh, so what's at the moral? What can we learn? Of course, your answers may uh, vary. Uh, what did you learn from this story in your own, in your life, everyday life? This is one of them. It is important to think of other people, even in little ways, to make them happy. Because everything Noah did in this story was to help people, even he didn't actually know. He wasn't helping in the story. He wasn't helping his grandparents. He was helping everyone and especially those um, the bride and the groom preparing their wedding uh, so let's look at the first question a major problem in the same country is the decline of the school so what is the meaning of decline regulation expense failure or isolation decline means failure Okay, the second question is the children are now accustomed to their new situation. So what is the meaning of accustomed? Yes, sorry. Accustomed means running or used to or driving or thought. It means used to. The third question, Re Rebecca was only 11 but she traveled unaccompanied. So what is the meaning of unaccompanied? It means uh, alone or often or occasionally or confidently. So unaccompanied means alone. Very well. Um, number four, mother made a comment to Noah about nitpicking. What does nitpicking mean? Always wanting to argue or defending oneself unnecessarily or refusing to take someone's advice or paying too much attention to details. So what is the meaning of nitpicking? It means paying much attention to details. Which of these characteristics is seen to run in Noah's family? Uh, gossiping, uh, gossiping about others or uh, being defensive? or exaggerating events or easily getting angered yes exaggerating events here for example his mom wanted him to write bmb letter to his grandparents and also the grandparents was were very uh were very uh, uh full 
focusing and uh, focusing on the decoration of the cake and whatever uh, like we have said we have seen in the um, in the story of course why did Noah not continue why didn't Noah continue the discussion with his mother about writing the bread and butter letter why didn't he he was ready to start writing the letter or very well he had grown tired of arguing with his mother or he wanted his mother to leave his room or he knew she would become angry if he continued the argument or the discussion i think the last one is the perfect answer Noah was Mr. Diamond Stein's best man because what happened in the story that made Noah Mr. Diamond Stein's best man? Uh, the groom's son had injured himself. What was his name? Alan? Maybe. Or Noah was the grandson of friends of the groom. What Was this the reason? Of course not. Uh, Noah had a tuxedo t-shirt to wear. Did he have the tuxedo t-shirt sorry did he have the tuxedo uh, the tuxedo t-shirt before uh, he becomes the best man or after that the groom's son was getting divorced so i think the answer is very obvious that the groom's son um, whose name was alan had injured himself thank you so much and see you in the virtual classroom